Hindi Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. See what is description here? What is description here? Yes. So priority is one attribute, description is another attribute. So the test case description that is available in the manual test cases, you can copy the test case description, you can paste it in the description here. So it means that this test case here, you are giving the priority 1 minus 1 and you are trying to perform an execution of login test case. Okay, description, you can give the test case description for the manual test cases. Fine. Suppose for example, I don't want to execute this test case. What I'll do? I want, I don't want to execute this test case. I'll do what, see? What happens when I say enable is equal false? The test case will not be getting executed. So these are all attributes. Priority is one attribute. Description is one attribute. Enable is one attribute. Ignore in the case of JUnit. Enabled in the case of false. It's like ignoring only, but there is a ignore also available, at the rate ignore. It's there in the JNIT, but here there is no at the rate ignore. Here you have to mention enabled is equal to false. Enabled is equal to false. Okay. So, how many attributes we have seen? Priority, one attribute we have seen. Description, we have seen second attribute. Enabled, we have seen third attribute. Let me write down here. Now, we are going to see one more attribute, the most important attribute, which is called depends on methods. We will see with an example. Depends on method. See, let us get into enable is equal to false means that test case will not be getting executed. Suppose for example, what happens, you write the test cases. What happens, sometimes the requirement is not at, not at, um, Right now, not at developed. You have to say enable is equal false. When the requirement is ready for you execute it, you just say enable is equal true. You don't mention anything, just remove it. It will execute the test case. It's just ignore. Enable is equal false. It will ignore the test case to execute it. Okay? That's it. Fine. We are going to see one more important attribute for the at the right test is depends on methods. We'll see with an example. See, if you see here in the case of priority, there is a drawback. Suppose I have, suppose I have more number of uh, test methods, it is difficult to maintain the priority. 1, 2, 3, does not look good. Right? So, we can try to maintain the flow because instead of you say 1, 2, 3, I will use here one more attribute, we can maintain the flow. I will show you that.
again so how many methods are available here see let's start from the basics again better to start okay so here we have login search logout so as per the alphabetical order login is good first as per the alphabetical order logout is good second as per the alphabetical order search is good third that's why i told you right but as i told you i want to control the execution order that's the reason i explained you priority but apart from priority there is one more way you can control the execution order the way how you can control the execution order is let's see suppose for example i am putting one attribute here see depends on methods okay i'll explain the logic how what i have done here see let's see there are three test methods are there when you try to execute these test methods will execute in the alphabetical order so which one is the alphabetical order in the list login okay i executed login okay when i execute it what happens login executes right in the alphabetical order then what is the second one in the alphabetical order what is the second method in alphabetical order alphabetical order i am saying logout yes i'll go to logout but when i try to execute logout i see there is a depends on methods what is the depends on methods available for the logout search so i'll go and execute search but before i go and execute search what is the depends on methods for the search login so should i need to execute login again no if the login is executed once that is sufficient don't execute again that doesn't require that doesn't serve the process for us again when i try to execute this program as per the alphabetical order login executes then it will try to execute logout then before i execute logout what happens i see there is a depends on methods what is that search okay let me go to search i went to search i see this method also depends on login but login is already executed you no need to execute again so you execute search once you execute search you can execute logout so that is the flow so login search logout so this way also we can maintain the execution flow this way also we can maintain the execution flow right so let me run this and show you see are you getting the same order the usual way is not these two ways are not good better to maintain this execution order from the xml file so i'll explain you testng.xml file you can maintain the order there or the best way is either from the xml file or depends on methods priority is very rarely uses depends on methods or xml file you can maintain the order in any of these ways okay okay here so login search logout right so are you able to see the output right login search logout right okay so one more point in addition to this one more point in addition to this see here suppose for example suppose for example in this scenario if you are able to understand this scenario one more point in addition to this see suppose for example i execute this program it executes login yes it is done then it will try to execute logout as per the alphabetical order yes then it will come here there is a depends on methods it will go to search okay i go to search but when i am trying to execute search when i am trying to execute search the search method is failed when i 
when you try to execute the search method the search method is failed when the search method is failed when the search method is failed again i'm saying whether the logout should be executed or not that is a concept whether the logout should be executed or not again i'm saying i am in the login because as per the alphabet letter then i go to logout as per the alphabet letter but but i'll not execute this because there is a depends on methods okay let me go and execute this let me go and execute this search but this search is failed so when a search is failed i should execute logout or not that's the answer it's a question actually so whether to execute logout or not so basically we have to skip the method we have to skip the logout method because search method is failed means automatically the depends on methods is failed that method will be skipped if the depends on method is failed that method will be skipped so logout is skipped here i'll show you with an example okay i'm just doing one one failure here because i can do anything just i'm checking abc to expose it anyway it is a failure the search will fail the logout will be skipped let me execute this you see what is the method is skipped okay so the scenario what we have seen now is called hard dependency h a r d d n p n d s d n c y hard dependency i'll write in the notepad This is the last topic. I'm skipping the last topic. One second. I'll come to it. Sort dependency is what? Even if the depends on method is failed, the method will be executed. Suppose, for example, you try to log in, the search is failed, but you have to log out, right? Because sometimes log out is also required. You are saying I've skipped the log out. No. i have to log out also even if the depends on methods search this one if it is fails also i have to log out again i'm saying again i'm saying even if the depends on method is failed i want to execute log out so what's the depends on method search even if the search is failed even if the search is failed i have to execute log out so what i have to do now see i need to put okay we are going to stop only this topic because we are in between we cannot stop in between right so see so what we are trying to do now even if the depends on method is failed i want to execute log out so what i have to do i have to say sorry i have to say here not here
ಸರಿ ಯಾ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕುಲ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಸೊ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಸಚ್ ಫೇಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕುಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೂ ಅಗೇನ್ ಐ ಎಮ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಸರ್ಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಲಾಗ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೇವ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಈಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಡಿಪೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೇಲ್ಡ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಯೂಸ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರನ್ ಈಸ್ ಕುಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟುಡೇ ಐಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶೋ ಯು ಸಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಸ್ಕಿಪ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ರನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೂ yeah definitely you have to mention see that is depends upon the scenario suppose for example um if the login is failed you cannot do search right those scenarios you cannot say always run is equal true even if the search is failed you have to log out that scenario you can put always run is equal true so depends upon the scenario you have to think what is the best way you can do that okay so today we have seen what is test ng introduction right what are the different frameworks why we are using test ng and also we have seen one basic annotation called at the rate test and after that we have seen how do we execute the program how to check the reports in the test output folder and also in the console then we have seen the attributes what are the attributes we have seen priority the lowest priority will be executed first because test ng methods are executed in the alphabetical order to avoid that we have used priority the lowest priority executes first then we have seen one more attribute called description then enabled is equal to false means the test case will not be executed then finally we have seen one more attribute called depends on methods okay so these are all the test at the rate test attributes similar to at the rate test there are some around 10 annotations available we'll see tomorrow not tomorrow we'll discuss when we are going to meet okay